929 is the time right now. Calling all true crime fans, a new original podcast from award-winning journalist Soledad O'Brien debuts today on Luminary. It's called Murder on the Towpath with Soledad O'Brien. Now, it explores the 1964 Georgetown murder of Mary Pinchot Meyer and the corresponding arrest and trial of Ray Crump Jr. The African-American man was arrested, indicted, and served nine months in prison before being acquitted. This morning, Soledad O'Brien joins us to talk all about this unsolved case and her new podcast. Good morning to you. Good to see you. Hey, likewise. Great to see you. Yeah, this case is crazy. And as much as um, I think true crime cases are mm -hmm. often really, really riveting and interesting, this has so many twists and turns outside of the case. Mary Pinchot Meyer, the victim in this case, Ray Crump, the suspect who they rounded up within 45 minutes. Dovey Roundtree, the civil rights lawyer, black woman who kind of fought her way to make it through law school, who agrees to represent him. But I'm not mentioning the conspiracy theories, the CIA, a missing diary, and also an affair with JFK. Well, wow. Oh, yeah, you dropped a lot. I mean, uh, that's a lot to drop in in just a little bit of time. CIA, JFK, missing diary. That's a whole lot to get into. Um, but I want to ask you, you know, it's really what makes it, I think, um, it's one of the reasons I love podcasts. Yeah. Because uh, I think as, a, as a, a platform and as a format, right, you get to kind of go into all these twists and turns that I think if you were just normally telling the story, you wouldn't have a chance to. Right. Now, I want to ask you this question. How um, did you decide or how did you find this particular case to, to put into podcast form was there something about it did you it, were there a bunch of cases that you looked at and you and this one jumped at, out at you and if you did if this yeah. is a case have, why have you done a podcast yet have you have you yes. hosted a podcast yet yes I, not, but I, mine I, mine are strictly just conversational and nothing and hard hitting like this no you know i haven't so i was kind of waiting to see like what i want to do in a podcast and then the producers at film nation reached out and and told me just sort of very briefly about the story of Dubby Roundtree and Mary Myers. And mm -hmm. so I I looked it up and the first thing you really see is just all the conspiracies around what happened to Mary Myers uh, on the uh, on the Georgetown towpath. I mean, it's a really a kind of a crazy story, but as we started digging into it, what I thought was really interesting was the history, uh, the, the background of uh, W. Roundtree as a black woman who, mm -hmm. whose family was terrorized by the KKK, really had so many opportunities and breaks in order to become a lawyer and dedicated her life to really helping people who needed a good civil rights lawyer. And Mary Meyer herself, who was wealthy, uh, upper crust, and even then, because it's 1964, society kind of weighed in on what they sort of thought were the opportunities and what both of these women should be doing and both of them pushed back against it i always thought um i always thought that if they knew each other they would they would have been they would have respected each other and thought that the other one was a very tough woman um they didn't they never interacted except of course it kind of intersected at mary myers uh a death when mm -hmm. she was killed so I, I thought that's what was most interesting and then it turned out of course as you dig into the podcast uh, that mary meyer has a relationship with jfk we've got a steamy love letter that's crazy and also um this idea of like well, what actually happened both in the trial which is riveting because uh, w roundtree the civil rights lawyer is completely underestimated and also what happened afterward it, it's a, it's an amazing uh, uh, story, just from ba based on what you're saying right here. Now, in the last uh, couple of seconds we got here, um, uh, you know, when you when you look back at, at what happened back then, was it hard to go back and, and dig? I know you're you're you know award winning journalist, but was it hard to do this for the podcast to go back and dig all this up and find these people uh, and these interviews and everything like that? No, you know, it was actually really interesting. I think there were a lot of people who'd written memoirs. And I think when Luminary decided to do this podcast, they knew that we would have to do a really good 360 view. So no, mm -hmm. it wasn't hard. It was, I think people really wanted to weigh in. Some family members were not interested in talking to us, but many, many others and historians too, all wanted to sort of help us build this portrait. All right. Well, we appreciate your time this morning. The one and only Soledad O'Brien Murder on the Towpath is a podcast. It debuts May 25th, which is today. So thank you very much for your time. I look forward to uh, learning more about this. I love listening to, uh, to history and, and finding out about, especially when it comes to something like this, getting the wrong guy. And, and you threw in the CIA and the missing diaries and JFK. <laughs> I'm all in. So, Soledad, thank you very much for My your time pleasure. this morning. All right. Take care of yourself. You too.
All right, Allison Seymour, over to you.